Welcome to the first Player of the Month video for the 24-25 season, starting naturally with August. So between us, we've selected three players for this feature. Remember, you can vote for anyone in this poll, anyone who's played this month, and it's on the club website for you to look at now. So let's start with number one, quite literally, Alexis Andre Jr., an enigmatic character, a lot of chatter about him upon his arrival, but he's been solid and he's made some really key saves in most of the matches, Nigel. So your, your thoughts on him, first of all? Yeah, I mean, as you said though, he, he you know he come up with you know with all these followers and that that he's got on on TikTok as the youngsters call it now and you know all, all that sort of jazz. But yeah, you know he's been he's been solid enough for us. I mean, one that particularly stands out is that first half performance at St Albans. I mean, made some really good saves quick off his line. Yeah. You know, and he, he has yet to concede a goal away from home and to have what is it three clean sheets at this stage of the season already, you know, his testament, I know the defence as well is, is part of that, but, you know, it's testament to him, you know, he, he's settled in, he seems to be sort of popular with the rest of the squad and, you know, maybe a little bit of communication is lacking again, you know, after that goal against Western Supermare, but I'm sure that will come and, you know, all he can do is, is, is do his best to stop the, goal, the goals going in. I think he's done that pretty well so far. And he's very, I mean, I've pointed it out on air when I've been commentating on him. He's sort of as Lucas Kovalan as you can get without having Lucas Kovalan there. The way, he, you know, marauds in front of the 18-yard line, he comes out gets balls. Might not be everybody's cup of tea, might be a bit wary of, you know, being quite forward thinking and... I just for me, he's, again, he's such a character like Lucas, a very likable chap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, I mean, you know, you know I've had people say uh, that you know he doesn't communicate as much, but I don't think he's. You know, Lucas had that big sort of booming deep voice, didn't he? That you know everybody listened when he spoke. He, uh, people listened, but he seems to be a little bit more softly spoken than that. Maybe that that's lost in translation, in transition in games, and you know, translation and that. But I'm sure you know they respect him, and, he, and that. You know, sometimes you don't have to be vocal. You know, if you know that your goalkeeper is going to be there and going to be in what position they're going to be in, then you adapt your game accordingly, don't you? And that, again, that's just like what George has been saying. You know, patterns of play, and you know that doesn't just happen in the forwards. That's got to happen in defence as well. And that's what a lot of the good goalkeepers have, though, Nigel. It's that aura, that presence, yeah. that sort of. You know, I mean, Schmeichel had both. He had the shouty ability, and he also had that presence, and everybody knew he was there. So. Clearly, they're onto something with Alexis, and again, it's another left field choice for a goalkeeper. As it has been the last couple of seasons. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mate, so. I mean, he, he's solid enough, and he, he, you know, he's settling in well. I think so. Yeah. Certainly, name out there for consideration for yeah. player of the player of the month. So George Fowler is the next name on our list. He's been solid at the back. He's had to play wide right for a lot of this first month of the season. Your thoughts on his August performances, Nigel? Yeah, he's. he's uh, Mason's missed the consistency, isn't he? You know, he's always there and thereabouts. He's not, you know, he may be not your standout, you know, in height wise of what Reese Greenwich is, and but, you know, he's, he's always got, he's always there. He's, he's played every minute of the game. You know, always he went off with that little bit of concussion or nosebleed that he had at, in the one of the home games here. But, you know, he, he's always he's there. He was back, you know, back in training and playing the next game. So. And you know he's been asked to play various positions as well. He's played in the middle of a back three, played out on the, as a right, uh, on a four, a wing back is you know as well at times. So you know he, he'll always put. He, he's always going to be. He's kind of taken over that Gavin Hoyt mantle, hasn't he? You know he's always going to be a seven out of ten, and you know he's, he's always a threat from corners and um, free kicks. You know he can get out there. He's got a good spring on him. You know, I think he had one chance in a one home game here. That, you know got up and yeah, okay, just, close, just went yeah, wide right, and yeah. you know you just know what you're going to get from George he, he you know he's, he's taken along with Sam Corn I think he's taken over that mantle of you know Mr Maystone Mr Consistency and he, you know he's always there in their back and also he's you know been made vice captain this season as well so you know yeah he's you know solid enough and and that's that's all you want that's all you ask isn't it from your players it's one of the moments that I uh, remember from this month so far is doing the broadcast at Chippenham and just him having that volatile, fiery moment right on half time where everybody got into each other. And he turned around, we'd had a chat with him uh, pre match as well and had a little catch up. But he's sort of right up close to us, the proximity of the, 
uh, media to the to the pitch, and you could just see the fire in his eyes. And he's really up for it, and it was just a case of having to go, please. So he's, yeah, he's, he's, he was he's, the same as St Albans, wasn't he? But yeah. we got that shirt tucked, yeah, you know, Jeffers, that the course. referee didn't yeah. see. But and yeah. then obviously that's come off the back of the, the, the last home game we had here, but towards the back end of last season, he actually got sent off for, yeah. for that, and against that game. So you know he's fired up and he wants to do well for Maidstone, and then, you know he he plays for the badge. You know he, he, that's all you want from your players, isn't it? Especially your defenders. You know, leave everything out there and then you know ask questions later, and that's that's George Fowler all over, isn't it? So Ben Brooks is the third name on our list. He provided assists for both the goals scored against St Albans and Truro. Uh, a welcome addition out wide this season on the left-hand side there, Nigel. Your thoughts on our YouTube superstar? Yeah, I've been very impressed with uh, Ben. You know, he's coming and he's really settled into the, into the team. He's always up looking to get up and down and, you know, he's got good powers of recovery as well. He, he defensively, he's been sound. I mean... You get an early season sparring, don't you, where teams sort of try you out, but he hasn't, you know, he's answered every question that's been thrown at him, come off, come off the back of a good pre-season as well. We, you know, I think he's a little bit slow in, you know, that rotation, but once he was made that, that left-back position his own, he, you know, he's, he has made it his own, hasn't he? You know, you know, that cross that he put in for that goal for, for Temi at Equa at, at St Albans, you know. Lovely moment. It was, wasn't it? You know, I mean, you know, that wouldn't look out of place in the Premier League. It was just, well, I called it at the time, didn't I, a buffet ball, you know, help yourself. And, nom, nom, nom. and Temi did, you know, and, he, and that, that consistency, again, like we said with George, you know, he's been part of a defence that's kept those clean sheets as well. So, you know, that's never easy coming into a, from outside from a, a, from, to a new club as well. He settled in, you know, he seems to engage with the fan base. You know, his, his videos are very popular, you know. And, very informative as well. Yeah, exactly. I know it's, it's it, you know, and fans, fans like that, you know, seeing that, seen it from a different side, isn't it? So, yeah, I think, you know, they all sort of get his journey that he's on and hopefully he can continue that with Maystone and, he, you know, to already have, again, like we said, with, with Alexis, with his, with his clean sheets, to already have those two goal contributions. I mean, he, he's come close as well. You know, he likes to cut inside and have yeah. a shot. You know, he only just, I Good think it was the, on him. the Tuesday night game against Hampton and Richmond, you know, he only just didn't dip under the bar. You know, got, got inside, got his shot off. So yeah, long may it continue, and you know, certainly uh, up there as a, a candidate for for player of the season. Uh, player of the season, a bit early for that. <laughs> yeah, but player of the month definitely. You know, just for those two assists alone. So remember, those are three of our picks based on what we've seen. Uh, but feel free to vote for any player of your choice on the link on the website. So that's all from us for now. We will see you in another video very soon, no doubt. So from the pair of us, like and subscribe. And as always, come on, on you stones. stones.